What is up, YouTube? It is time for another Noita video. It is calm, little buddy. And today we're going to be going over the biomes of the mines and the coal pits. This is going to be the first video of our biomes series. We're putting the pits and the mines together because they're small. So I wanted to group them together. They're, they're probably the levels that people can get through the easiest. That way we can get on to the next one. We'll be releasing Snowy Depths next week. And then maybe later on we'll put them all together into one big video. But for now, this is the beginnings of the video. Okay, these are the mines. Nothing really super fancy here. You can go all the way over to the right, which we're going to do. And you're going to find a structure called the Lava Lake. And if you go all the way over to the left, you can find a sub biome that is called the Collapsed Mines and all the way to the left of that, at the end of that, is the dark cave with some extra heart containers that you can get. Well, an extra heart uh, container that you can get and an extra full heal that you can get as well. So let's talk about this biome in particular. The main hazards in this biome are, of course, the enemies and I would say fire. Toxic slime to a lesser degree and sometimes you will get uh, an environment uh, in here like uh, I think I don't know if they're called curses or whatever but you get a little extra added on to here the enemies are not that bad in fact why don't we just take a quick look at them now I'll pause the video and we will bring them up on the screen and I'll tell you a little bit about each we have the weak hound the weak toxic slime spidey the weak miner and weak shotgunner both vulnerable to headshots the fire spirit who's not as scary as he looks the weak acid sleaze bag predictably shoots balls of acid at you and the weak sleaze bag mother just before she dies she creates a bunch of toxic slime that are very powerful and then we have the fire mage who is the worst of all but is weak to water if you can trick them to jumping into water you'll do very well they'll die on their own but they're very hard to kill and very dangerous on their own so avoid them or get them into water those are the enemies that you're going to run into on a consistent basis those are the actual enemies that are in this zone and that are prepared for this zone if you head over to the left side the collapsed mines you will also find frogs which are hyper hyper dangerous because their tongue hits you multiple times so when their tongue actually attacks you it counts as a melee attack and as long as that tongue is on your hitbox it will count as multiple hits so you have to be extremely careful be very very careful make sure that you do not get hit by the frogs. Stay far, far away from them. You'll also find some of the potion throwing, uh, like the gold potion throwing minor guys. Those guys spread fire like the plague. You got to watch out for them. So everything gets a little tougher at the collapsed mines. If you head all the way over to the right here to the lava lake, which we're going to do, you can actually travel across the lava lake and get to a place where the Juan connoisseur is across a little bridge. I'll show you that in a second. We no longer have bridge uh, bridge boss cheese, so we can't get the free wands off of the bridge boss without doing a little bit of extra work. That's a thing you can look up in another video. Not necessarily of mine. I don't have one out yet, but plenty of people have ways of killing the, uh, the wand connoisseur, the bridge boss. So I'm going to dump out this potion here. It's always important when you're on this level to make sure that you find some water. So we're going to grab ourselves some water. Hey, there's a little fire spirit. They are not dangerous at all. They're they're like they're they're babies. Okay, so here we are at the lava lake. Now, I don't have any water to cross the lava lake right now. One of the important things that you're going to find at the lava lake is a tablet. The tablet is always here. You can always get it. It's good to have a tablet in case you require it for any sort of special tricks that you can do. You can get very good at tablet kicking and tablet throwing to kill enemies, especially powerful enemies. So through the magic of editing, I grab some water and we are going to bop across the fire lake. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your water bottle out, your water flask, and you're going to hover, 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 do a little tap, 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 a tap, a tap. When you start to run out of your hover, you just splash some water down. Make sure you have plenty of time to splash enough. Takes about a second and a half. Then hover, hover, hover again. Splash a little bit more water down if you're nervous like I am. Sometimes you can make it in two hops. Sometimes it takes three. You can get all the way over to this side, and this is where we find the bridge that has the shaft. If you break this bridge and fall straight down, you will end up being right of Snowy Depths. You can go to Snowy Depths from here, or you can keep going. And over in this area is a temple with a an orb. But if you take the orb, you will trigger the baddie, big baddie boss, Juan Connoisseur, a.k.a. the bridge boss, which you definitely don't want to do. So beware of that, unless you know exactly what you're doing. 
to get back, I always redouse just because sometimes there's little gaps and holes that pop up in this lava. It starts to corrode a little easy. So you might want to just redouse as you're flopping back. And there you go. You can just make it all the way over there and all the way back. Easy peasy, no problemo, squeezy. So that's the lava lake. Anyway, the main reason to come over here is to grab the tablet because if you end up with the perk telekinetic kick, it's super useful. There's a Spidey. Now, Spideys will pile up on top of each other and only look like there's one of them sometimes. So you think you'll kill them and then next thing you know, you'll find that there's like six other ones down there and they will just all jump you. So be very careful with the Spideys initially until you know how many are there. See, those miners are no sweat. Okay, these guys, they shoot the shotgun at you. So wait till you hear the blast before you try to dodge. Don't dodge into the shot. It frequently happens that we dodge into the shot. You either want to be dropping when you hear the shot go off so that it goes over your head, or you want to be gliding up when you hear the shot go off because that is essentially where you want to, to be to get away. All right, so we still don't have any water. We're looking around here for water. One thing we did find on this, um, excuse me, on this seed is we found the uh, potion there, the, uh, the health potion, which is extremely rare. I will put the seed in the description in case you're interested in playing something with, uh, with that potion, because that's going to give us a little extra healing, which will make the demonstrations in these biomes a little easier. These hazards here, these explosive hazards, I like to either kick them out of the way and blow them up or just blow them up directly wherever they are. I don't like leaving explosives hanging around on this level because that's usually how we lose our health. All right, these guys, same idea with the shotgunners. You want to dodge the shot after it's left. So once you see the trajectory of the shot, that's when you want to try to do the dodge. Takes timing, takes a little getting used to, but you will get used to it. All right, I'm still looking for water because I do want to show you the bridge boss area all right one of the things that you need to be very careful of in the mines is managing your health there's a lot of little ways to lose health bit by bit death by a thousand cuts so to speak so try to avoid simple injuries things like the toxic slime things like fire it's just stay out of them make sure that you have water to wash off any stains or to put out any fires that end up on you because if you just start taking little bit by bit damage, you won't be able to stay in here long enough to get enough gold to make yourself useful in the Holy Mountain. How much gold do we want when we're getting out of this biome? We want to have, I would say at the very least, 200 gold. I like to have 400. That way I can do at least one reroll and have a chance of still getting a wand. I try to get up to around 600 if I can, if I'm healthy. Of course, if you've wasted your health, which I do often in this level, um, if you've wasted your health, just get out. Get out. If you're down to 30, start making your way to the exits. If you're down to 5, cautiously proceed to the exit. So we're going to burn our way through here. I'm Maybe I'll just bring you over to the collapse mines first and see what's over there. Maybe we can find something to help us out. Let me speed this up a bit, make, make this a little faster for us. Super fast forward. We'll get up here and see if we can get this wand, grab some water. You're going to see structures like this where you have to kind of break your way in to get the goods. Here we grab a pretty decent wand out of there. Well, it's not decent, but whatever. And we grab some more water. By the way, you can dump water into toxic slime that will turn it into water or sludge or something at least not completely devastating to you. That's a good area where we got some water. Okay, here's one of the uh, fire potion throwers that I was telling you about. These guys look like the miners, but they have this big sort of... Uh, I don't know, it looks like a welding mask on their face. They throw these golden potions, which are full of fire. All right, so we are obviously in the collapsed mines. This is a dangerous area. I don't usually go over here on my runs, but I want to show it to you. So we'll head over here and see if we can sneak our way through and see some of the enemies that are down in here, the, the more dangerous enemies that you have. All the enemies that we mentioned previously are in this biome as well. But of course, like I said, you now do have to be very aware of the frogs and these guys with these huge potions. You'll also probably find a higher frequency of the fire mages over here. There's one of the frogs right there. Now, you'll see his tongue. Oh, fire mage coming. All right, let's see if we can show you how to beat this fire mage. This might get a little bit dicey. So we're letting the frog basically crisp itself here so we don't get licked by it. I want to try and see if I can get him to jump up here with us, the fire mage. There he is. Ow, okay, that is bad. 
Let's see, is he gonna wander into water? I gotta back up a little bit. This this could get a little interesting. We'll grab this. I think this is Flamuxium. Yeah, it is. Not exactly what we want. Oh, another one of these guys. All right. Let me drink a little health potion here. Let me make sure we're safe. And take a sip. By right-clicking, when you have your inventory open, you can drink a potion. These potions are extremely rare. You're not going to find them on your runs, so don't even try. Just <laughs> letting you know that right off the bat. I mean, obviously, try, look around. They might be there, but I think I've found them twice in over a thousand runs. Sometimes when you do fungal shifts, you can do that. There he is. Okay, so he should he should jump into this water down here by accident. Yeah, there he goes. Okay. Notice how easy he is to kill when he lands in the water, but you got to convince him. You got to trick him into it. When he jumps into it, he'll try to jump out, usually. But in that case, yeah, he didn't have enough time. All right, so this is like a little... Oh, ooh, 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 Froggy, watch out. Froggy went a court and he did ride. That's that big tongue. If that tongue hits you, the entire time that it's on your hitbox, you are going to take damage every tick. You're literally going to just... Your health will melt. Out of all the enemies in the collapsed mines, I do believe that the frog is my least favorite and the one that can cause the most damage. Let's jump forward a little bit so I can get this done a bit quicker for you. You can see there's one of those acid sleaze bags. They're pretty easy to kill. There's a mother. Those are a little harder to kill. We're going to avoid her. Do a little bop. Dance around. Dig through. And here we go. Now what we've been waiting for. This is the dark cave. There's an entrance to it just below. You're going to need some good digging. You're also going to need a light spell to grab the heart from there. So once you can get in there, you will be able to get yourself an extra heart container and a full heal. That is actually covered in a prior video of mine where if you want to, you can play along with a whole seed that I've done with all the great secret areas that uh, are available to people just doing the main run. Another thing I wanted to show you is there are frequently traps or puzzles that you need to solve. Here is one that has oil. Look, we can jump in and we get an oil stain on us which means if there's any fire around we're gonna catch on fire pretty nasty so let's get that stain off of us if we can and then we are going to trigger this oil to catch on fire we're gonna see if we can bait this miner into <laughs> throwing a bomb okay get up and there we go nice you can also blow up those little uh, conduit things you see the squares in the corner if you shoot them enough they will blow up and burn off that oil for you but you don't want to try and take the wand. If you take the wand, those little square thingies are going to boop and you are going to catch on fire something awful. It's not that bad, but sometimes it's acid or worse. So always try to deactivate the trap first. Okay, let's head into the holy mountain now so that we can continue on our journey into the coal pits. If you have any questions about the mines, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can answer them for you. Here we are in the Holy Mountain. Let's go ahead and redo our wands here very quickly and then we'll head out and I'll talk to you a little bit about the enemies in the coal pits and what is so special about the coal pits anyway. One of my favorite of all biomes, the coal pits. So for perks, we picked immunity to fire We've got some wands set up. We don't have any digging to get out of Holy Mountain. No big deal. We're just going to kind of roam through here and show you the coal pits a little bit. Talk to you about enemies in a second. We can see the bats right there. But the main thing that I want to get across to you about the coal pits is the amount of gold that's in here. We really do want to have some digging in this place so that we can dig out the little pockets of gold. I don't end up with much digging on this run but i'm not too concerned about it because we do a, we do a lot of bapping and bopping and killing some enemies here so we kind of make out okay when we get to the next holy mountain but you would love to have like chainsaw or loomy drill or even you know one of the spells that one of the danger danger spells where you uh you can actually hurt yourself with the digging so Look up and find out what digging is going to work best. Explosives will work here too if you have dynamite. Dynamite works excellent even if you have some bombs or if you have some magic missiles. Temporary, not temporary spells, uh, uh, limited spells where you only have limited charges can also work for digging. You want to get about 
600 to 1200 gold. I like to have at least 1200. I like to have a couple of reroll options. And the wands now do start to get a little bit more expensive when you get to the next area. And they become more important as well. There are two other areas off of the coal pits. Well, actually one other area. I count two. If you go all the way over to the left, you are going to end up going up against the uh, fungal caverns, which I do not recommend at, at this early stage. You might want to peek your head in there and sneak in for a bit. We'll sneak in for a bit in a second. Let me just go over the enemies with you, and then we'll talk about fungal caverns and the other, what I believe is another connected area to this area. You got little bat, big bat, miner shot gunner, firebug, little rat, slime shooter, sparkle bomb thrower, and a couple places. Then the place that spawn hearts. You got to learn these formations, by the way, sometimes, guys. Look them up. There are formations where you can find hearts all over the place. Not a lot to say about the enemies in coal pits, except for the slime shooters are tougher. They take about four to five hits. The fireflies, you need to be very careful of. They bleed lava. Never shoot them from underneath. They will bleed lava on top of your head and you will catch on fire or you will land in their lava. They will also catch their lava will catch other things on fire around them. The bats love to bump into you and stun you over and over again. So if you get three or four of those baby bats, they will just keep kind of perma stun locking you and hitting you with melee damage. Their big mama bat spits out more baby bats, so if you don't kill her right away, she's super dangerous. She can overwhelm you with baby bats. The fireflies also have hives. They look like a giant glowing waffle. You want to try to destroy those hives from far away. Stay far enough back from those hives that you can destroy them without getting too close. If you get close, it will start spawning fireflies like mad, and you will be in a lot of serious trouble. So make sure that you stand back a little bit. All the other enemies are a little bit tougher as well, but in general, the enemies in this area are not that bad. So once you find this wall over here to the right, if you go straight down from there and you get to where the Holy Mountain and the Extremely Dense Rock connect, if you have a way to dig through Extremely Dense Rock and you dig at an angle right and down, you will connect up to the shaft and the tunnel from the shaft that leads to snowy depths. I consider that to be connected to coal pits because I almost always find a way to dig from coal pits to that shaft area of snowy depths. And I try to avoid snowy depths altogether and just get to that shaft because in that shaft at the very bottom, if you dig straight down, there's a secret wand room. If you want to know more about that? You can check out my other video doing a complete playthrough, a play along with the seed number for you that you can play with us. So that I consider to be connected. I know that you can't always get to it. So it's kind of more connected to snowy depths, but I like to think of it in my mind is connected to coal pits. So I don't forget when I have digging, I want to go there first and get the two free wands. All right, let me fast forward a little bit so that we can get to the outside of fungal depths. I usually like to explore all of the coal pits because there's lots of wands. Usually there's lots of hearts. Well, not lots of wands. There's usually some wands, sometimes lots of wands like this run. There was a lot. There's usually a heart, sometimes two. I explore the whole thing. One thing I don't do is go to the fungal caverns, which you're gonna see over here. And there's a reason for that. And you'll you'll start to see it as we come over here. All right, so where you see the, the Holy Mountain ends, if you keep going this way, you're gonna end up in the caverns. Oh, look at that. See, we're already getting shot at by a really bad enemy. So we gotta be extremely careful. I'm trying to see if I can snipe him from far away. But in fungal caverns, there are enemies that you're probably going to have difficulty handling. If you can sneak over and find a wand or like an ambrosia potion that's right on the edge and you want to kind of clip in there, get it and quickly jump out, feel free to do so. Just be extremely careful, especially of the teleport mages. They usually fire like light blue bolts because they will swap places with you. They're swappers. So if you get hit by the bolt from far away, it will suddenly pull you right into the middle of fungal caverns into all sorts of crazy situations. There's also a uh, danger of being polymorphed in there. So well, I recommend staying away, at least in the beginning, until you get much better at these, uh, these zones and understanding them. And again, learn the formations because a lot of times formations like this will have something in them, a treasure chest or a heart. Especially in coal pits, it pays to know the formations because some of them are going to be dark. You won't be able to see them if you're up close. So go online. You can find a whole bunch of guides to the exact formations and how to recognize them. But in general, I showed you two of them. So you, you at least got a, a little bit of a leg up as far as that goes. There's not much else to tell you about coal pits, really, except for that it's a great zone to build up wealth and resources. So you want to explore this place thoroughly. 
before you head on. It's not that dangerous if you keep your cool. Remember, always back up into safe areas that you've explored previously. You hear that music start to pop? Back up. When the music rocks, you back yourself up. Get the heck out of there. All right, we got a lot of... There's one of the big mamas coming over here. So let me see. I think that's going to be it for coal pits for right now. And next time we're going to go into Snowy Depths. Snowy Depths is going to have a little bit more detail in it because Snowy Depths is hard. It's very difficult. Hey, see, there's a formation with a heart. See how you can recognize that? Look at this little formation just above it. It doesn't usually have that bomb or it doesn't always have that bomb, but you can recognize the formation right above it. So you know where that lake is. You can get that heart. If you don't explore this area, you're doing yourself a disservice. You're losing out on a ton of gold. You're losing out on a ton of health. Right now, we've got enough health. We can still continue here for a little bit. Plus, we have our our healthy and potion that we can manage with. All right, we will be back next week with some more antics in snowy depths. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave some comments. If you have any other practical advice for mines or snowy depths, there's tons of advice for this, but I just wanted to give a general overview. If you have anything you wanna let people know, go ahead and let them know in the comments. I have no problem with people helping out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Again, calm little buddy, and we will see you next week with snowy depths biome. And uh, hey YouTube, you're up. <laughs>